Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. And here we are in PowerDirector Ultimate, or we will be in just a moment. But what we want to look at today is how to create a much requested special effect that has come to be called the Zoom Video Effect. We used to call it the old Brady Bunch Grid. It's essentially a video collage. We have several video sources on screen at the same time, and they are essentially interacting with each other. In this case, uh, we have them singing a song, and it looks something like this. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, 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 row your boat So one by one, they each appear on screen. Merrily, 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 life is And they join in singing in synchronization. Row, row, row your boat. Until, of course, we have all four of them on screen at the same time. So that's the effect. I'm going to show you how to do the basics of it here in part one. And then in part two of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enhance it a little, make it a little more interesting. Okay, so to create the basic effect, we're just going to drag the clips down to the timeline. I'm going to grab the first one and drag her down there. Now, once a clip is on the timeline and selected, you can resize it simply by dragging on the corner handles here on the preview window. And then we can position it wherever we want like that. Uh, but I like to be a little more precise so I can add sort of a unity to the video collage. So I'm going to double click on the picture to open up the PIP designer panel. And then I'm going to set its size to 0 0.55 or 55% size. And we'll position it and that's good. I also think that uh, this will be a better effect if she's not as wide as she is tall. So with that clip selected on the timeline, I'll go to the tools button and select crop pan zoom or crop zoom pan. i set the aspect ratio for my zoom down to free form and then drag in the sides. And if I need to center it so that she's cropped and now we have a really nice video and we can uh, kind of tweak its position there in the video frame. We're going to do essentially the same thing with all of them. So I'm going to drag the second clip down to video track two. Once again, double click on it. Set it to 55% or 0.55%. Move it into position. Click OK. Then uh, set it to freeform crop. Crop it. Center him just a little bit here. Click OK. And then we're going to do the same with video track three. Put him up there. Crop him. And four. And we'll freeform crop him also. Now with all of them in position, all I need to do is just sort of stagger their position on the timeline. I'm going to widen out my timeline just by dragging on the ticker at the top. You can also do that by clicking on the little zoom button in the lower left of the timeline so that I can see my sine wave or my waveform for each of these clips and as you can see they're singing the song four times and you can almost see where each song breaks they're on the timeline so let's move the playhead i'm going to zoom in just a little more there we go to right where the girl's singing the second time there we go and i'm going to move the clip that's on track two so that he begins singing right when she begins singing the second time We'll go down a little farther, do the same thing when he begins singing the second time. We'll move the guy on track three so that he comes in and starts singing along with him. And then same thing when he sings the second time. The guy on track four comes in and he starts singing too. And that, my friends, is the basic effect. Each of these guys pops in and sings when the uh, person 
before them begin singing the second verse and at one point they're all four on screen at the same time and that would be good enough if that's what you're trying to do with the zoom effect but here at moviepicks.com we always like to make it a little bit better and that's what i want to show you here in part two if you'll join me for part two of creating the zoom effect a pretty cool and easy to create effect here in PowerDirector.